OMG Mabuhai Squad, you won't believe what just arrived at our door. I have been craving this all day, all day yesterday, all day the day before. Mabuhai Squad, check out what we're about to eat. Hey guys, welcome to my daily vlogs. Please subscribe. Jolly Bee guys. <laughs> yes, chicken joy. Mmm. Been craving this. Had it last week, but I've been craving it again. Mmm. 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 Mm. So, for those of you who are new, Jolly Bee is like the biggest fast food chain here in the Philippines. And they're most famous for their fried chicken. I believe there are Jolly Bees in several countries around the world. All right, guys, let's eat. Mm -hmm. Okay, I got the spicy version. And the gravy is so good. Mm. Oh, another thing about Jolly Bee is I'm an official endorser. But all the fun is in eating it. <laughs> oh, so you're one of those people that like pineapple on everything? No, but with a burger, it's definitely okay. Huh, says who? Hmm. Talk about dream collab and dream like project. OMG, all celebrities dream of like endorsing Jolly Bee. OMG, that's a big, big brand. All right, guys, let's eat. Mmm, 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 mmm. So delicious. Have any of you guys out there been lucky enough to try Jolly Bee? They have them in several places in the US, several places in Europe, Canada. Go look, go look. Mmm, 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 mmm. It's so yummy. Yeah. Ah, and it's so crunchy the outside. Good afternoon, Cypher. Beautiful puppy. How are you? Chewing on his rope toys? Yes. He came from the vet and had his shots today, so he's a little groggy. Yeah. He also had his anal glands expressed or drained, as they say, <laughs> on his report card from the vet. You know how he used to like drag his butt on the ground? So they did that. And also he had a dewormer. So I'm like preparing myself for tomorrow morning's poo to see deceased worms. So gross. Cypher's been hanging out with RJ, lying down all day mm -hmm, because of his shot. But my boy squad, I want to show you his eyes. You see right now, his eyes look blue. Like there are times when his eyes look blue, times when his eyes will look green, <laughs> times when his eyes look hazel. Like the outside ring is hazel, but then there's like an inside. <laughs> There's an inside part that like changes color. Sometimes it looks gray. No biting here. You can bite this. Beautiful, beautiful eyes. Cypher, I like looking at your eyes. They're so interesting. It's like multicolored. Can I move your bangs so I can see your eyes? <laughs> Let me move your bangs. Beautiful eyes. So nice, your eyes, Cypher. Guys, I wanted to show you my fish tank. Look at how beautiful it is. <gasps> I remember when I first started off to like rehabilitate my fish tank. Were some of you guys around at that time? Like <laughs> when, you know, we were in lockdown and I kind of had nothing to do. And then my tank broke out in like this crazy algae bloom. And so I had to rehabilitate it. And that's how I found the world of aquascaping on YouTube, which taught me how to do this. And then now look at it, guys. It's my dream tank, my dream planted tank. Oh, I'm just looking at it and I'm going, wow, so cool. Look at the pina fatigue. It's growing so big. See these fern-like ones? They're growing quite large. Look, that one's growing like a tree. Like they're growing like a tree now. They used to be like ferns and now they're like tree-like. Look at the Pina Fetida here. Isn't that beautiful? It's like a crown of moss and Pina Fetida. Beautiful. Look at those plants at the back adding to the depth of field. It looks like it's far. And you have the little, little beautiful plants here. Gorgeous. Look at the carpet, guys. It's all established now. The Monte Carlo. So green. Thriving. Just awesome. Some volcanic rock picked clean of all dirt and algae thanks to all the algae eaters the shrimp 
all of that. Look at how big the mosses are. See my phoenix moss? It's just so big and bushy. Over there too, look, see? Just gorgeous. Look at the rotella, beautiful. Look at how red the Ludwigia is. It's just so gorgeous. See all those bubbles rising? The purling, look at the purling, guys. Just beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Look at the string of pearls rising. Very, very healthy and stable system. Fish are healthy. I'm just so happy with how the tank is coming along now. It's been a long time coming, guys, and I had to learn a lot <laughs> to create this. But anyways, I just wanted to update you on the tank. Yes, a little aquatic garden, I suppose. <laughs> So wow, right? <laughs> Did you eat? She ate. Okay guys, so I decided I'm gonna make Cypher his own chop only because I want to start separating their vegetable chops because Ligaya takes certain vegetables and herbs that Cypher cannot take. For example, chamomile. Chamomile is not good for dogs, but it's very good for birds and as well as like hot peppers. So from now on, I'm gonna make Cypher his own vegetable mash. Here I've got some fresh rosemary, uh, chopped okra, carrots, Zucchini, I've got cucumber in here, we have pet chai, and kangkong. So I'm hoping Cypher will like this. Oh, and you know what else is missing? Wait, let me get it. A little bit of turmeric, fresh, yes. I also forgot there are goji berries in here too somewhere. I put a few goji berries. Oh, and banana, banana for flavoring, yes. This is gonna be a healthy chop. In case you're just joining us, no, I'm not converting my dog to a vegetarian diet. I basically have my dog on, I guess, a variation of the BARF diet. Not sure if you guys have heard about the BARF diet. It's basically an acronym that stands for biologically appropriate raw foods. And it essentially is like feeding your dog as if it's a wolf. So it's mostly raw meat, like raw bones. And then you have grains in it, like rice. And then you have a vegetable portion. The rice and the vegetable are supposed to be like a wild dog's foraging for like, you know, vegetation and berries. Cause it'll eat this stuff in the wild when it's not eating meat. In between like hunting prey and it will also eat the stomach contents of the prey animal that it eats and usually it's like vegetation so I'm doing a variation of barf diet but the only thing about barf diet is you run into the risk of salmonella because it's raw right and I will put a link in the comments or description of a very helpful video from a veterinary technician who was very he created a very informative video about the dangers of the barf diet which by the way is like a big fad it always has been been a fad for dog keeping. I couldn't do it initially because, well, back then I wasn't really making money when I was raising my dogs. I didn't have the money to do like barf diet. But basically the video says that it's better to cook the foods. It The dogs can digest it better. You don't have to worry about like salmonella poisoning, all of this. That's basically what I'm doing. And I am also feeding kibble. So it's kind of like a hybrid of both. All right, let's blend this. Love this food processor. It's awesome. Here we go. <laughs> Okay, so Cypher's dinner consists of some cooked beef. Um, there's a little bit of tendons here, but normally you would have meat and organs. And organs can be liver, it can be tripe, it can be chicken gizzard, kidneys, heart, anything like that. But here we have just cooked beef and tendons and the broth. Normally you would also put raw bones, but I don't have any raw bones. And again, I'm kind of scared to use raw until RJ and I are living on the farm and we're like killing our livestock. And we know for sure that it isn't contaminated then we will probably convert our dogs to barf diet to eat you know like raw chicken and raw chicken bones and all that uh, but until then kind of like scared there are companies that produce raw foods for dogs it's like packaged um, but I don't know where to order that in the Philippines I don't even think we have that so anyways Cypher's entire meal needs to fit in here so I do a rough estimate so I need about that much of other stuff so I'm just gonna put this in here. I'm gonna add a little bit of the broth. There were bones when we were cooking this, so some of the nutrients is in the broth. Guys, by the way, beef broth, when there are bones in there, oh, so healthy. Lots of great nutrients. Okay, so there's that. And to help Cypher out, I'm just gonna chop it up further. He's gonna love this. Mmm. I think next time we will give like liver or kidney. We forgot to buy today. All right, nice and chopped up like so. All right, so then we're going to add a little bit of the vegetable slash little bit of fruit mash. Just about that much. 
Yes. Mmm, very nice. And then gonna add some brown rice, some grains, because um, Cypher's kibble is grain free. Now for a while that became a big fad. And then studies started to show that grain free diets were linked to heart disease, OMG. And like for chihuahuas, heart disease is a problem. So I add some brown rice and then I add some kibble for any trace nutrients that might be missing from this mix. But to be honest, if I continually rotate the ingredients, I'm pretty sure we have all bases covered nutritionally. Mix that all up. And then sometimes I'll like put it all in here just to make sure the side portion is okay. But I'm pretty sure it is. Like if I go like that, pack it in. It needs to fit in here. This might be a heaping scoop as they said in home ec. Okay, more or less it fits in here, right? All right. Cypher is an active dog anyways. He's an active dog. He needs food. Okay, and that's it. There we go. Time to give it to Cypher. Oops, almost forgot. I also add some healthy oils. Just a dash of coconut oil. I'll also add palm oil sometimes. Palm fruit oil. To cover his beta carotenes. Yes, vitamin A and E and good for his skin and beautiful gorgeous hair. All right, healthy fats. And we're done. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Cypher, I got something for you. Feast, my werewolf. It was made with love. Feast. Oh, wow, you ate so much of your chop this evening. Look, I love her dinner tonight, as you can see with her beak. Oh, we gotta really wipe your rope, perch. So the Gaia has about three tablespoons of like chop. It's a mix of grains, sprouted seeds, legumes, and beans, and the vegetable chop. She has about three tablespoons of that. And right now it looks like there's about one less than a tablespoon left. She will finish more of this before she goes to bed. And one thing I forgot to mention is I keep adding. So I'll give most of it in the morning. Then I'll add a little bit more for lunch than more for dinner just so like the whole thing doesn't spoil I also add like a sort of shish kebab here <laughs> it was carrot raw squash and cucumber and as you can see she's been nibbling on it and she's been making soup <laughs> she throws some of it in here and then drinks the, the water this is also a parrot tea so she's drinking uh, nutritious water Guys, I just love nutrition for pets. Like that has always been a fascinating topic when I get animals. Like I, I don't like giving just bare minimum, especially in the area of nutrition. Like even down to my ants, they eat gut loaded roaches, not just like roaches or crickets. All of this, like all these scraps, all these vegetable scraps, anything left over from the Gaia in the night go to my roaches. So they're nice and gut loaded and they go to my ants. It's just so fascinating. I love nutrition. Actually, whenever I get a new animal, I spend the most amount of time researching the nutrition aspect of taking care of them. It's just so fun. How about you guys? Do you guys enjoy going above and beyond for nutrition? I find it with my past dogs growing up, yes, we've been guilty with give, giving them human food. But look, all my dogs like survived into their senior years, like 15, 16 years old. Except for my great queen, of course, which is a giant breed. They don't live very long. But he also also lived till uh, I believe eight years old. So yeah, I knew before getting Cypher, I didn't want to just give him kibble. Um, and the more research I'm doing, I'm finding that giving a dog just dog kibble is not the best option. Um, and same with parrots, like giving a parrot just a bunch of seeds or a bunch of pellets is not the best. They don't thrive. Yes, they can possibly survive, but they're not thriving. Mm -hmm. Anyway. I love making food for pets. Good boy, Cypher. Finally finished dinner right before bed. Gonna lick the plate clean now. Good boy. Wow, he's been licking this for the past two minutes now. <laughs> Licking every last bit. Are you done? Can I put it in the sink now? Okay. Good boy. Very good boy. Good morning. Let's go pee. Good morning. Good morning. Did you sleep well? You have a down feather on your beak. <laughs> Here you go, the guys. Enjoy. Feast, my dragon. Feast. The guy has been doing a lot of acrobatics lately. She'll hang upside down. She'll... Yes, wow. Wow, you impressed me, Ligaya. <laughs> she knows I'm vlogging now, so she stopped. But she'll hang upside down. She'll hang off, like, the rope on one leg. 
she's so athletic. To be honest, I've never seen her play this dynamically in her entire life. It's just recently. She really self-entertains um, when she's in her cage. She really loves her cage time. Okay guys, positive affirmation for Saturday, July the 25th. I constantly increase my awareness of myself, my body, and my life. Ooh, being self-aware, guys. This is something that I have become super paranoid about. Like, I want to be aware. I want to be pretty self-aware, you know what I'm saying? There you guys go. Hope you enjoy it. So I'm looking at Cypher's report here, and it says... There's a follow-up vaccination and deworming for August. Um, so that's next month. All right. He'll be getting heartworm and tick and flea preventative about neutering. So get this. The vet suggests that we wait for assessment in terms of when he can be neutered because as you saw in a previous vlog. Good boy. Yay, he pooed. The vet is having problems finding the other testicle. <laughs> Only one is descended. Um, so they have to decide for that. And microchipping, which RJ and I would like to do will be in a future visit. Awesome! Oh, so Cypher pooed and he also got the dewormer. And remember what happened the last time we saw worms in his poo, dead worms. I wonder if there are dead worms in this poo. RJ's checking. Is there?